Hi guys, Jordan here with your vocal tip of the week from my car. So this week's vocal tip is love yourself. And that is so cliche. This little tip can work for vocalists, actors, instrumentalists, uh, public speakers, anyone who is in front of people actively performing something. According to Malcolm Gladwell, the author of Outliers, it takes someone about 10,000 hours of practice in order to master a skill. And singing is a skill. So, you need to practice. Here's the thing about singing. Your vocal folds are made up of muscles. Your muscles are stupid. Therefore, you need to train your muscles in order to achieve mastery over them, right? As vocal athletes, we need to work out our voice the way that we would the rest of our body. So if you want to gain some muscle, you want to have control over your biceps or triceps or whatever kind of seps, you need to train your muscles in order to do what you want them to do. So it's the same thing with your vocal folds. You need to start practicing, you need to get used to your voice, and you need to work with your voice in a healthy way in order to start getting better at it. So. Here's where the self-love comes in. It's having positive self-talk and affirmation. I am not good at that. You have to be nice to yourself as a performer because as a performer, you're being brave, you're putting yourself out there in front of people, and especially if you're a vocalist, you are demonstrating your ability with the instrument that is inside of your body. That is a part of you, and that is hard, and that is vulnerable. So, first off, it's okay to give yourself a pat on the back and tell yourself what you're doing is scary. Secondly, you are a human being. You are going to make mistakes even when you're performing. One time in high school, I had to sing the national anthem before a softball game and uh, my softball coach told me too late. And so I had to run up two flights of stairs in order to sing the national anthem. I was out of breath. It sounded awful and I was like, this is stupid. They just told these people I'm going to Nashville on a voice scholarship and I sound awful. So don't worry about it. Here I am today teaching voice. I have a master's in music. I am still trying to find my way as a musician and that is okay. So one of the things you can do to help love yourself and get more comfortable with how you sound as a vocalist is record yourself. Now, there are parameters to this. You have to be kind to yourself and you have to give yourself some grace. Whenever my students are performing in a class and then we're performing in front of each other, I usually tape their performances and then I have them write a reflection. What did they like? What did they not like? And the things they didn't like, what are they gonna do to improve on that for the next performance? And the things they did like, what are they gonna do to sustain that for the next performance? Sometimes when you listen back, you might think, wow, I didn't do as bad as I thought. Or you might be like, ooh, I thought I really nailed it here, but I didn't, so I'm gonna work on this for next time. Now before we go, I'm going to leave you with a couple of cliches to remember that being an artist is about building skills and being patient with yourself. Rome was not built in a day. You are your worst critic. Fake it till you make it. And remember, if you make a mistake, the only person who's going to know is you, unless you make a stupid face in the middle of a performance, and then everyone else will know. So keep it under wraps and it'll be okay. That is your vocal tip of the week. Go out and love yourself as you're performing. And uh, remember that it takes time to build skills.